Hey guys, we're back again and I'm doing a remake on a String Up Pearls Balloon Arch. I was just going to show you different uh, examples on actually how to set it up perfectly and uh, a couple little add-ons and additions as well as some pictures. So follow along and you'll see me right after this. Okay, so you see I have some balloons set up on uh, a string right now. Uh, the way you make your string of pearls is you're going to tie some monofilament to uh, two chairs or two anchor points. Right now I have a chair on this side and a chair on that side. And I'm going to show you how to make that knot right now. Okay, the way you're going to take your uh, string and make your knot is a slip knot. That's the way I normally call it. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But you're going to go ahead and pull your string through. Now this is a short piece. You want to make sure this piece is as long as possible because when you're relocating it, you may have to um, uh, reposition it and it's always good to have extra slack. Okay, so you wrap it around and you make your first knot like so. Then you're going to go ahead and make another knot, but you're not going to pull it all the way through. You're just going to take it and pull it. Let's see if you can see that there. Oopsie. See, that knot is wrong. You want to make sure this piece stays in there and you pull it through like so, leaving this loop. So when you want to relocate your arch, all you have to do is pull this and you're good to go. Okay, so once you take your mono and you tie it the right way onto your, uh, your both ends of the chair or your both your anchor points, you're going to start adding the balloons, okay? Um, so what you're going to do is take a a, a, any color balloon you want and start filling it with helium. Okay, and the way you tie it on is very simple. You're just going to go ahead and tie, instead of tying it first, you're going to tie it right to the line itself. So after you tie it on the line, you're going to take your measuring stick, a ruler, or you can measure out a piece of PVC, anything you like, and you've got to make sure that these are separated equally apart, which they aren't right now. So, you want to get them, before you tie them on to your line, you want to get them separated as close as possible, because when you start sliding these back and forth, it can start um, getting really hot and actually burn and rip the balloons, and then you will be out of an arch. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just start separating them. I'm going to put this down right here. And you're going to add as many balloons as you need. I like to do about uh, 14 to 16 inches apart. Okay, so we start from here. And we're just going to slide this one over. And you're going to go from here. And slide that one over. And you're going to go all down the line. Now what you could do with these, uh, you could do graduation arches. Uh, what's really nice too, um, if you have, you can put four columns uh, out on a dance floor and make uh, dance floor arches. Or anytime you have a huge stage to decorate. You can also add balloon inside a balloon or add some ribbon, which I'm going to show you right now. But let me go ahead and just separate all these to make sure they're all lined up to where you want them. And then after you have them separated, all spaced out correctly, all you would do is pull your slip knot and attach it to make your balloon arch. Uh, if you want to make it nicer, like I just said, we can go ahead and add some ribbon. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and just cut some ribbon here. And this is nice if you're going to do with like a cake table arch or something like that. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and just tie it to you can do this beforehand or afterhand, it doesn't make a difference. <clears throat> you're going to tie it right there, and then we take our scissors and to curl. To curl, all you got to do is put your thumb, you the sharp side touching the ribbon with your thumb on it, and you're going to pull downward. And there you have your ribbon. Now it looks really nice if you do ribbon on each one, <clears throat> but that's it. Uh, what else you could do with this is really nice. You could do a name arch where you put a few different string of pearls here, attach your letters, attach it to a few columns, and make it really nice. So this is definitely something you need in your arsenal if you are a balloon decorator, or hey, it does really look nice if you just want to do a one-time thing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my video. Subscribe. Check out my Facebook, The Amazing Balloon Guy, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.